What's up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here and today I'm going to take you back to your greatest childhood fears. In this video, I'll attempt to explain the convoluted and ambiguous plot of Little Nightmares 2. This will be the first of a series of videos that challenge you to think critically to piece together the fragmented world of Pale City. So without further ado, let's get started. In its simplest form, the story is as follows. Mono, an uncommonly single-minded child, sets upon a journey that could upset the very fabric of reality and restore a semblance of balance to Pale City. On his way to the signal tower, the structure broadcasting a powerful frequency that seemingly consumes viewers, he rescues Six from the Hunter and makes his way deeper into the chaotic and twisted ruins of the Pale City. As they traverse the school grounds, the hospital, and the residential area, Mono and Six encounter monstrous beings that have embodied a corruption that only true evil begets. Eventually, the unlikely duo approach the signal tower and find themselves within the reach of the enigmatic Thin Man. After numerous close calls, Six is inevitably captured by the Thin Man and is seemingly split into two forms. A physical form, and a digital form, for lack of a better term, that is reminiscent of the glitching shadows hidden about in Pale City. Mono, determined as ever, seeks out his lost companion and faces off with the Thin Man, defeating him in an epic battle of wits and willpower. He then progresses ever onward in search of Six and finds himself bending the very fabric of reality to reach his goal. As he journeys to the highest point of the signal tower, through the winding and dizzying staircase, he eventually finds himself in a sort of alternate reality or dimension in which Six has grown into a grotesque adult fixated on her music box. After breaking the trance, Six reverts back to her child form and the sentient, writhing, fleshy interior of this reality begins to pursue the children. Mono and Six locate a TV set to escape from and despite all the odds seemingly reach their goal. That is, until Six, for reasons unknown, betrays Mono and drops him into the abyss. Six escapes to the exterior world and journeys onwards towards the Maw, confirming the event this game took place before the first installment and Mono, over some undetermined amount of time, remains in the TV dimension and transforms into the very being he was trying to avoid, the Thin Man. It seems that the younger version of Mono was aware of the dark fate that his future self would succumb to and repeatedly attempted to change his destiny. This resulted in a paradox of sorts that kept Mono in an endless causal loop where his actions to avoid his transformation only contributed to the inevitable outcome that he would never be able to avoid. The abrupt nature of Mono's appearance in the woods and his unwavering ability to continue onward despite all odds lends credence to the theory that he has experienced all this before and has knowledge of his past failed attempts. Unfortunately, Mono would place his faith in Six, hoping that the innocence and good nature of a child would prevail over evil. Little did he know that Six was no normal child. In the end, Mono would live up to his namesake and find himself all alone, a singular soul left in a desolate alternate dimension where there was no hope or solace. And that's all for this video. Until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out.